Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I am going to discuss about Samsung Galaxy S23 battery backup. I know uh, many of us are having hard time to get, uh, like, to keep this phone, uh, you know, alive till the night. So getting a one-day battery life has become hard on this phone. But now I'll show you some tweaks and settings uh, that can make this phone a power based earlier i used to get around 4.5 to 5.5 hours of battery backup like uh, screen on time 4.5 to 5.5 hours of screen on time and another 5 hours of screen off time so basically 10 hours of total time and 5 hours of screen on time and if I, if I had played background music playback, then I would get 4.5 hours of screen on time. And if I don't use uh, music playback, then I'll get around 5.5 hours of battery backup. And that music playback is around 1 to 1.5 hours. So having this kind of uh, battery backup uh, and the charging speeds of the phone is also very low, like around 1, one to 1.5 one hour. So it's hard to charge phone uh, every now and then and uh, with those kind of slow charging speeds uh, charging your phone uh, repeatedly or frequently is a hectic task and also I had experienced a lot of stutters and lags uh, whether in whether in opening recent apps or animations so I tried everything everything possible to make things right in this phone but to no avail I haven't found any solution till now but recently I made some changes so because of that I am getting around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time uh, with a background music playback for around 1 hour the stutters and lags have also totally uh, vanished uh, and I am also turning on uh, location Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, always on so if i am in the home i'll use wi-fi and if i go out then i'll use 5g plus the i also turned on always on display for new notifications i'll show my uh, battery usage before and after this is my samsung galaxy s23 You can see I have always turned on my Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth is connected to my watch and then uh, mobile data. If my Wi-Fi is not in the use, then 5G will be activated. You can see here. See, uh, the 5G is in currently use. I, also, I always keep location turned on, always display is also turned on for new notifications and then Wi-Fi calling is also on. And I have kept my profile as, uh, performance profile to light mode. Okay, so this is my battery backup before, like before changing any kind of settings. I used to get 4 hours of battery backup for 83% and then 3 hours of screen off time. And I haven't done uh, more, like pretty much anything. I have used WhatsApp for 5 hours, uh, sorry, 50 minutes and then uh, you watched uh, Revanced, uh, that is YouTube for 1 hour. And I have made some calls, maybe around half an hour, half an hour to one hour of battery uh, calls. So for that, I have got around four hours of screen on time for 83%. This is around 3rd September. Uh, uh, you have to excuse me because I don't have uh, much uh, records to show how my battery used to be there, used to be in the past. So these kind of jitters I, I used to experience in my phone. See, micro kind of jitters. You can see when I open the recent apps, it is jittering for a second. Here, uh, the jitters are uh, least discernible, but I'll show you in uh, further videos. The jitters are a lot. See here. Not only jitters, here frames will drop and it will freeze in middle. See, it froze in middle of nowhere.
This is how my phone used to be. See the frame frame drops, the jitters and stutters. See, there is also a touch input lag. You can see that. Even though I am swiping up and swiping down, it's not uh, instantaneously uh, taking those inputs. It is, uh, you know, delaying around uh, milliseconds, a few milliseconds, like 50 milliseconds or 30 milliseconds like that. I won't say 50 or 30. I'd, I'd say around 200 to 300 milliseconds because those delays are very discernible. Have a look here. This is another video. See, and I had to touch, uh, you know, I have to click three or four times in order to open a tab. It's not an app specific problem. Uh, like it's not only limited to blink it. It, it is happening in every other app. See? See? The way it got stuck in the middle. I, I have been touching the YouTube, I mean clicking on that YouTube, but it's not even working. See the touch input lag. So this is how it used to be and this is how my battery used to be. Now I will show you the current battery and current speed of the phone. First let's go to the battery section. This is my current battery now. You can see I have used 60% of uh, I mean uh, the current battery level is 60% and I have used about 40% of battery and I got around 2 hours of uh, screen on time. Uh, and you have to remember this that I have used around one hour of uh, background like background music playback for one hour. You can see that total usage time background is for one hour, and then I have used it for it for my calls, and the calls is around forty five minutes. I'll show it to you. See, thirteen minutes and thirty two minutes. It's around forty five minutes of uh, background calls. Not only this, I have also spoke to some other person, so it's around one hour of uh, uh, you know background calls and one hour of uh, background music playback, and then two hours of two point five hours of screen on time, and four point five hours of screen off time. This is my current battery backup. I'll show you a battery backup before also, twenty second December. I got around seven eight hours of screen on time for one twenty percentage of battery. 12 hours of screen on time for 167 percentage 8 hours of screen on time for 120 percentage again for 150 percentage it is uh, 10 hours of uh, screen on time for 116 hours 8 hours uh, you need to uh, you know just uh, avoid this one because uh, yesterday I have used Android Auto for around 4 hours uh, so you know the wireless Android Auto will consume a lot of power. So I don't uh, think it is uh, you know a good uh, statistics to see. Except this, you can see how I am getting the screen on time. So the things, the changes I have made to my phone are at first, uh, you know, b before trying those things, I have tried other things also like uh, deep sleeping all the apps and changing the performance profile to light but it had no use on my you know no effect on my phone the jitters continued and stutters also jitters and stutters continued and battery backup also very bad later on i found a new way first go to your apps section select one ui home launcher yes here one ui home go to battery here uh, it will be uh, defaultly selected to unrestricted mode but instead of unrestricted mode select restricted mode 
as uh, as far as my phone concerned i'll i'm sure that it won't affect your uh, home launcher in any way notifications will work as usual and the performance will be uh, better better than before so change uh, whatever the apps or whatever the launcher that are you using is stuttering change it to restricted mode so now i have changed my uh, you know one ui home to restricted mode and also earlier uh, my keyboard used to malfunction like sometimes it won't open sometimes it suddenly you know abruptly open now you can see how my gboard opens so see how smoothly it is opening up not only there everywhere it opens like smoothly i'll show you see see no no jitters no abrupt opening this uh, animation has been consistently uh, applying even i have kept gboard also to restricted mode see restricted so whatever the apps that will stutter in the background or while using so keep them to restricted mode in the apps section you have to go to app section and then you have to go to app section and select the app and then battery section and then select the restricted that's it so after doing that go to your battery section here go to background usage limits and then uh, deep sleep all the apps that you don't use like you use very very rarely i don't use these apps very rarely so i have kept them in deep sleeping mode and the apps that use like uh, not not frequently like uh, in week if you use app once in a week then keep them in sleeping mode i have kept all all of them in sleeping mode i don't use them a lot that's it now your battery will be increased and performance also increased uh, and the apps that you use daily like i use whatsapp uh, and then instagram daily so i kept them so i kept them to optimized usage so whatever the apps that you use daily keep them in optimized mode and whatever the apps that you use uh, weekly ones keep them in sleeping mode and whatever the apps that you use very rarely like monthly ones or yearly ones keep them in deep sleep mode that's it uh, everything will be all right now you will get good amount of svot and your stutters will be solved bye for now not only that my phone's performance also improved a lot I, i'll show you there are no stutters works very well see see the a blazing fast uh, opening of apps nothing will str will get stutter